because I, I look crazy too. My nose. Yeah, but it's just, so... <laughs> you look really angry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I mean. Oh no. I look crazy. Yeah. yeah. Can, you, can you just choose Can you... Else? No, it's already posted, whatever. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, whatever. It's not the dating platform, at least. Uh, That's true. But you can keep uh, keep an eye out on uh, questions if we have any, to be fair. For sure. Yeah, it's been a really long day. It's been a really long day. Both me and Pontus were up like seven this morning, prepared everything, and then it's just been heads down all day. Feels nice. Feels really nice. Um, I mean, we couldn't hope for a better day, to be honest. It went in a lot of work, but definitely feeling crazy good. I mean, we almost already feel like we don't jinx it. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not going to jinx it, but it feels nice. That's good. Yeah, we got a great validation on on the features. Um, yeah, it, it feels really good. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> But yeah, tell me when we have new questions and if there are technical or whatever, just just let me know. What are you doing now? I'm actually got, I'm I'm gonna start a live stream on X also. Uh, uh, for X, you need to create a new broadcast to go live. Okay, I get live support. <laughs> it's good. All right. Uh, multi stream. Hmm. Need to create a new, let's see, you need to create a new broadcast to go live. Yes. Okay. Oh, now it's actually loading. That's good. Wait. Uh, uh, okay, now I'm publish publish it on X. With the thumbnail. Crazy one. No, no. Error creating oh, broadcast. Good. I don't know. Um, oh, fuck it. Let's just stay here then. Let's not do Twitter then. No. I'll try once again. I think Twitter has some problems. Damn, I like you call me that crazy. Do you keep a track on, on comments? Yep. I am. Superhuman is actually coming after us now. True. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Actually, on Twitter didn't even load before this in the in the settings. 
Oh. The traffic today was. We had we connect. two thousand four hundred visitors. It. Yeah, you can share it probably. I can share stats so they can go into that link. Yeah, it's actually public view. Let's see. Uh, uh, where can we post that? Can't right. I think the hardest feature <clears throat> to implement or like think out was probably invoice. And I think that's, we're, tra we're taking like requests now so people can request to be invited to the alpha version of it. Uh, at the same time, we're building it. But I think no, it's invoice has been the most requested for now. Now we're broadcasting on X. Yeah. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh. Yeah, Eric, we're, yeah, we're just, I don't know, we're just doing it. That's, that's it. We don't think that much. We just, we don't have any processes. We're just like, me and Pontus talk about things we want to do and then we just do it. So it, it goes fast, but uh, yeah, sometimes we have to slow down a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, but we have so much fun while doing it, and I, I think that that really shines through. Uh, we do whatever our users want us to do. Basically, you can vote on on things, and then we basically do a first version together with 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 our users. Uh, and of course, yeah. kill things, kill things with fire if it doesn't stick. Uh, and then, yeah, exactly. again, have fun. Yeah. Now we have two chats to keep track of, one on Twitter and one on, on here, right? Time for a beer, I need and <laughs> time for a beer and some rest. I'm actually gonna take a beer. <sighs> Yeah, nice. So, Victor, where is Mego? You're muted. Sorry. Um, yeah, Mego is playing around here. Now he wakes up. Like he's been sleeping all day. Now he wakes up. Now it's a little bit crazy what's going on here. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much, Debon. It's uh I don't know, both me and Ponce are very surprised how how nice people have been. Like it's been I was reaching out to a lot of people and Pontus too and everyone been super nice and supportive. It's kind of crazy. Super yeah. grateful. Now we lost the vote again. I don't, I don't really understand. Well, not one, ten. Hmm. Ten votes now. Yeah. We're still on 520. Okay. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. 
I mean, this hunted dot space overview where you can see the graphs, it's really, I mean, it's super fun, but also super stressful when you see like the other ones, the other products that start to climb. Yeah. <laughs> and get so, so stressed that I, I don't know why. <laughs> oh, it's been quite a stressful day. Yeah. Thanks, Yasid. Um, Again, everyone being super nice, and, and thank you for your kind words. Can you tell me the, the comments you we get we are getting so I know? Yeah, Yasid Kurdi said, uh, congrats on the launch, great product and great design. Oh, thank you. I think that's like me and Pontus were saying that, like even if we do, like win a product of the day or whatever, if we don't, it, it doesn't really matter. Like this was also, like this was already kind of a big win for us. Just getting acknowledgement that we're on to something and that people like what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. And also the, the new chapter going from private beta to, to public, I mean, uh, mentally what yeah. that means for us is that's, that's quite huge. Uh, yeah. we, we started, we started this like a, a side product project, like many others. And then both of us quitted our, our full-time jobs and, and jumped on this full, full, full head deep uh, and uh, now we're starting to see that like we're doing something that actually works and we got a lot of great feedback and and fix the things that need to be fixed uh, so yeah it, it is super super good to have this community around us yeah really Francois say hey guys congrats on the launch thank you so much man it's been yeah, an awesome you. day. I'm not. I'm not gonna jinx anything, but I mean, this could be a really good <laughs> birthday present. Uh, it's a birthday Friday, right? On Friday, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't ask for much now. <laughs> Nobody feels good. Yeah. Oh yeah. By the way, thank you so much for uh, for the stickers. We I'm actually I don't have any stickers on my on my computer, but I will add those. And also, CG will probably have his uh, stickers when he comes back to town uh, from Francis. So. Thank you so much. We, uh, for context, we are using Nux, which is basically a, a query string library for for manipulating uh, your query strings in Next.js, both in client side but also server side in in one library. And we we have saved saved a lot of hours thanks to that. And also, I mean. Uh, using it together with types and everything you get with parsing and and those kind of things it's 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 super nice i i recommend it to everybody basically um yasid asked how long has media been in the making i think i think we we posted the first post october, october late october first no yeah, october exactly. 21st actually oh, yeah, okay. uh, yeah and then Basically, what we what we always what you uh, you and I have done, we are thinking about ideas and trying things, and usually start with some sort of, of landing page, and see if we have something that sticks. Uh, we have built a lot of things together, me and Victor, but this really felt right uh, because I have been running my own business for eight years, and Victor, you are on your third year, right, as a freelancing designer. Yeah, exactly. And when we came up with this idea, everything just aligned basically, just also with going open source and joining the, the thriving community. Uh, so we just started to post on, on, on X and based on that, basically we just kept going and that gave us the momentum to just continue all the time. Uh, so yeah, I recommend that to everybody that wants to try something, just go out there and talk about it uh, until something sticks. Uh, but we have only been working full time for one and a half month now, uh, both me and Victor. 
Uh, and yeah, we've been spamming on, on different social medias about our updates. Uh, but I mean, we, we love what we're doing. We want to show everybody and bring everybody along, basically. Yeah, I think yeah, it's been yeah, it's been key. It's been key, basically. That I mean, Pontus pushed me. I always been this kind of like uh, you know introvert designer that don't really want to share anything. It's been really hard to like let that go, uh, and I think yeah, a lot of designers like struggles with that. So I think like Pontus pushing me uh, or us into like posting every day and just like getting feedback, getting it out there. It's been. So worth it. It's been insane. I think that like you really want to keep on going with that, just being super transparent, just pe like keep posting every day and keep posting the 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 progress and stuff like that. Um because that's basically how the whole midday was built. Marketing wise, yeah. but also product wise, just getting it out there. Yeah, but also the idea basically come came from frustration, right? Not only from my account, yeah. but also I use a Swedish uh, a solution for sending my invoices to my clients and and they shut down basically for, for smaller uh, clients like me and basically made me uh, use a, a country specific uh, accounting software, uh, which made me realize yeah. like all of these accounting softwares are basically, they are done for account, they are made for accountants, right? And I ended up using 5% of that platform. Uh, and it was a pain because, I mean, there are so many things that you need to take, take, uh, like action on when it comes to, to accounting. And we, we just wanted a, a nice interface and a, a software, which basically works for you on top of your old bank and your current uh, accountant or accounting software, because it's hard to innovate in, in that space. Uh, and it's not that much of fun, right? You can't go global from day one. Uh, and we can do a lot of things that are actually going to optimize running your business uh, in this layer. So yeah, we have a yeah. lot of fun. <laughs> and also the fact that we can go, I mean, we went global from, from day one. And if we can build on top and then, you know, export into Xero or into QuickBooks or into Fort Knox here in Sweden, uh, we can build stuff on top of that. And that, that's where we can innovate. Uh, again, like Pontus said, that the the market is so saturated with people are trying to solve the the bookkeeping softwares and it's really complicated. And again, we're not a regular user, a regular designer or developer. I mean, you're just using like 10% of the actual tool because it's really made for accountants first place yeah uh yasid asks again such an awesome feat for two people to build something like that in a short period what was the most difficult technical feature that you guys had maybe point you can I mean, yeah i mean it, that sprinkles down to starting a, a new product right uh, the hardest the hardest thing to do as an engineer is actually to 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 bet on the right tools the right, right set of tools from the beginning because the longer you work with something the, the harder it's gonna get to actually change and and, and change your mind basically um, and i mean I, I can't emphasize enough that we, we jumped on super base and truly we wouldn't be where we are uh without betting on them uh because it's basically all their feature that they have launched the past months all of those has basically ticked all boxes what we needed in that kind of time uh, for example uh, read replicas like going global as we mentioned we, we we need read replicas and we evaluated like planet scale with the mysql uh evaluated fly for having a docker container with with our backend i mean we, we have evaluated a lot of things but in the end, we jumped on Superbase and uh, everything is basically all stars aligned in the end. And we, we are super happy with our solution. Uh, and then, of course, when you, I mean, I'm the only engineer. Uh, the hardest thing is basically to think about or 
get to the point where you think it's good enough uh, and just go out with it and, and take feedback and work work with what you have. Uh, I think that is the hardest thing as a solo engineer to actually get that kind of validation that it's okay, it's it's good enough. Uh, and that's that's where I think the building public really shines because you get this really nice validation. I mean, the community is, is so nice. Um, and those kind of validations made us confident that we're actually doing something that makes sense. And that guides us uh, to just continue pushing. Uh, so yeah, just start something and, and build on top of that every day. The hardest thing has been, of course, to, to start and, and, and find a good middle ground and work from there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We are still getting votes. I, I, I actually, I, I don't want to go to sleep, but we, we probably need to. Uh, it's getting late. But it's so much fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> career, how, how career, you... Okay, so you see, yeah, you see it as yeah. the career page when, if, career if, page. if we would start. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If we would start hiring. Yeah, that that comes down to where we are at with the company, right? Uh, we are we are self founded and bootstrapped. Uh, we are also right now free for everybody. We have different tiers based on when you. You're trying out midday now it's a public beta uh, deal uh, which you're gonna get when we're gonna start charge money and that's gonna be in in end of this year around october because then we're gonna deliver we're gonna have everything that we we want to deliver for our customers as a version one based on that we're gonna decide like okay uh how is the revenue and expenses everything gonna look like when we actually start to, to earn money right um yeah so i would say depending on how it goes both me and victor are putting our, our own money into this uh and we're going to continue to do that for quite some time but until until we know we can't hire people but we were happy to to like get all your res- resumes and, and everything that you're excited about because when when we know we of course gonna we want to find a really good fit like a, a product engineer uh in the end because uh i can do everything and we will happily bring in more excited uh, people um but yeah until until october when we actually have real values what how the business is gonna do financially we we can't have a, a yeah. career pitch yet no, exactly. And I think on the same theme, me and Ponte has been talking from the beginning, like we've been in different uh, various companies that have been really over bloated. And, and the first thing they did when they took in money was, you know, higher, higher, higher. And they basically focus on the wrong things instead of building the product and focus on that. They, they built, you know, a team and culture and, you know, it's easy to lose focus when you're doing that. So. I mean, the key here is basically find the best people and grow intelligently and grow, you know, really with the best yeah. people and not kind of just hire and hire um, for hiring's sake. So, yeah. yeah. And it, it, but it, definitely it also in makes, the future, hopefully. Yeah. It also makes sense to find some sort of product market fit before we actually bring uh, more engineers uh, or employees along because. I mean, then we have no some. Then we know that we have something that our customers actually want to pay for, and then it makes sense to actually mm-hmm. bring on more more people. Because, I mean, now it's it's still a high risk, right, to build a product. And I mean, we can calculate on based on our numbers and the customers, but we don't know until we're actually going to start to to charge money. Uh, so yeah. it would be unwise to to hire people now and and not know how it's actually going to go. Uh, we can't even calculate that right now.
exactly. Um, Safir says, wow, didn't know you guys are bootstrapped. Same here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 100%. <laughs> yes. I think also yeah. that, like, I mean, we really, like, if we would take in money or, or stuff like that, we we would really want to be in a position where we kind of proven that, okay, we have a product, eh, like, it finds its place in the market, and we really have product market fit. And yeah. if we take, um, take in money, then and just scale from there. Um, I think, yeah, what a lot of people are doing wrong is basically taking money too early uh, and they lose control and, and stuff like that. And then Oliver joined as well. He said, the solid day, guys. Thank you, man. means a lot. Yeah, thank you. But also, of course, be, being self-founded makes us actually focus on like the end goal from like every second, right? We can't spend money yeah. on different things to just speed things up. We need to, to really work with our customers and really get to know them, right? Uh, and that brings us yeah. to how we're working, basically. We work from bottom up together with the customers. Uh, I mean, we have a lot of bugs, of course, because, I mean, we, we work in super fast. Uh, we do a bunch of things in a small team, but in the end, when we get the feedback like this doesn't work, we can actually get a lot, kind of like angry comments about why doesn't it work? It should work like this. And then because we are, then can deliver super fast, we actually fix in those kind of things and we turn in those customers to our core users because they say, oh, you actually fixed this. Oh, it's already fixed. And that is where like things start to, to switch for us. Like we truly need to work with our customers. It's easy to say that you need to do that, but doing it, it's gonna pay off in, in both directions, right? Because we only want customers that are willing, willingly want to pay for our, for our platform. Otherwise we're doing something wrong. We can buy ads, etc., cetera, with, with money, but this is the way for us at least. Yeah. Then Sahil the, the says, great work guys and awesome pace on Twitter. Thank you, man. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're trying to keep up the pace. I mean, that's, yeah, that's the, that's the key here. Me and Pontus has been, again, we've been friends for a long time and been through a lot. And uh, yeah, we kind of, sometimes we just think the same thing. And uh, it's really nice having a co-founder like that. And we can keep up the velocity and just like push. Um, yeah. Yeah. And they're really aligned all the time. Yeah, I think we actually talk in the phone more than, than we do with our partners, right? Uh, yeah. We we yeah, we we still be we're talking a lot. Crazy sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, of course it's it's bigger than than just you and I. Uh, I mean with the community and everything, we uh, we basically have I mean, all our friends, our families, everybody's so supportive. I mean, it's it's hard to, to do something like this and jump on the securities, like working full time and, and take the leap, right? And everything comes down to like believe and, and the hardest thing, right? We, both me and Victor are, are quite, I don't know, we, we, we're not certain on anything, right? But we're starting to be more aligned every day and talking about all our goals in the business and how we should do things. And one thing that really stands out is basically trust. It's kind of cheesy, but trust the gut feeling, basically We're starting to trust the, the process yeah. basically. And, and in the end, if, if midday will still not be a, a successful company, we have learned so much just in this process, right? Yeah, no, it's, it's been, it's been insane. I mean, I think that's the problem when you kind of like work, you work at startups or you work at big companies your entire life. You kind of like, you always have someone that has the blueprint. You always look up to someone or you put someone on a pedestal and then you go out yeah. and you like, you think like, how, how is it done? Like, how, how do you actually do this? And what, like, what's their thinking and stuff like that. But like Pontus is saying, yeah. you know, it's kind of a learning curve, but now when we can actually feel like, fuck, we got this, like we can actually do this and we can trust our guts. Like, if we put our heads together and and we just uh, chip and and, yeah. and do 
do what we want to do and what feels right for us, uh, we can actually do it. And I think that's just like, yeah, the confidence is growing. So that's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. But also, of course, we have a lot of doubts also uh, from day to day. <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's not easy. Uh, we do a lot of things no. wrong also. Uh, so yeah, we're learning every day. Yeah. No, exactly. Uh, Yasid Curdy asks, how was the, the interest of, of the VCs? It was, it was big. I mean, we yeah. decided to create the pitch deck online um, because we, basically yeah, for, we were basically uncertain right? about the pitch deck. Yeah, exactly. Just to like flesh the business out uh, and kind of just take it as an exercise. And then we thought like, Okay, we're not sure about anything. We don't want to send the PDFs to people that are interested. You can uh, change it. So <laughs> we decided to. No, exactly. So we decided to just build it online, uh, and then we put it out, and it went kind of crazy on Twitter. Uh, a lot of people liked the the whole idea of of having a pitch deck online and and building it as a website instead. So with that, we got an enormous interest from VCs and stuff. So we had back to back meetings. Um, like, Three weeks, weeks, something right. like that, just every Three day. Weeks, yeah. Yeah. And again, I think, I mean, what me and Pontus learned from that was, I mean, first of all, like, how do we navigate the the, the VC landscape? It's not an easy task, um, especially yeah. if you have never been in like a, a, you know, like a pitch meeting like that or anything. But we yeah. learned that. And then we also like, just them like trying to pick us apart or, or ask questions, we, we kind of got to know midday and what we wanted to do even more. And with that being said, I mean, both main points are not sure, like maybe we take in money or, um, you know, um, fundraising in the future. Uh, we're not saying that we're not saying no to anything, but I think at that moment we felt that, okay, we want to keep momentum. We want to keep this pace and we don't want to be in meetings all day. So let's just bootstrap yeah. this and, and then take it from there. Yeah, and yes, because we actually been running on our own businesses for quite some time, we had the luxury that we actually could do that right now. Uh, and I mean, we also stumbled upon some re some really like key pillars in like that give us a turn how to think. And and I think Andreas Klinger, I mean, he really put us on the spot regarding like uh, taking money versus bootstrapping. Uh, and he 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 thought us a lot. Uh, yeah. And also, like we, we we have got some some really good advices along the way, uh, but yeah. We, with that said, we we're gonna continue on this path as we do right now. We have a plan, uh, and then we're gonna. I mean, every every week we're gonna evaluate our 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 use case and how we're doing, and, and I mean, talk with our users because that's the only thing that 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 matters, right? That, do we actually fix this, our users' problem that much that we're willing to pay for it? Yeah, then we have something and mm. we're gonna ask that question on a weekly basis. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Five hundred and thirty. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. go. Oh, it was good to take a beer, actually. <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, but Ioannis, uh, uh, the Andreas Klinger live stream on this that you did was, uh, was really great, and uh, he remembers the discussion. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think it was a turning point, right? Uh, I think we decided a little bit before, uh, but, I mean, that was kind of the the last bit that we needed, right, to to say, like, okay, let's pass this kind of, I mean, the, the VC meetings, they were really, really good in, in a lot of, in a lot of areas, actually, we, we found basically our DNA, uh, because we got a lot of feedback, like, hey, you need to go after SMB and up, or even enterprise. Uh, hmm. And we realized, basically, okay, we have a lot of like asks for from freelancers and contractors and 
the little guys uh, that usually don't have anything. Like you, you have a spreadsheet, you you maybe have an online invoice or you have a PDF, right, that you send. Because I, I'm, I'm that guy uh, and you, you have a little bit more automated before, like you use our Fort Knox system here in Sweden, which is equivalent to Exerio. Uh, but I mean, we just find this along the way, basically talking with VCs, like we, we have something here that we really need to explore. Uh, and we're going to gather a lot of small businesses uh, and work with them. I mean, if they grow, we're going to grow also. I mean, do we need to support payroll? Uh, yeah, I mean, submit that feature request. We're gonna prioritize that accordingly if we get votes on it. Uh, and the nice thing here is that working with with small businesses, they are as agile as we are usually and adaptive to our platform. So, I mean, we're just gonna continue to iterate on our features together with all of you. Uh, and I think that is the it's the most fun thing to do as an engineer to really like build something that we truly believe in rather than going after the yeah. bigger, like the bigger companies that need, needs a lot of like enterprise features. Right. So, yeah, yeah exactly. All right. I think that was just like super interesting hearing all the VCs basically asking like the, one of like the, the main things they were asking, like, okay, when are you going after enterprise? Like it was always, okay, I hear your idea, but when are you going after enterprise? And kind yeah. of like we hearing from the other side that like, the small guys or like the, the micro businesses and the one man agencies or, or freelancer contractors, they're not asking for much and they don't have anything. But, yeah. you know, hearing from the VCs that it was such a focus on enterprise, we kind of, yeah, we all of a sudden kind of figured out like, okay, maybe there's a big gap in the market here that we can go after. Uh, just because like the VCs are not talking about it and, and they're kind of focusing on this. And I think, yeah, again, like all of those meetings was, super helpful and yeah. meant a lot. And I mean, we, we, le we learned a, lo a lot of things. And we, I mean, we, we, most of the VCs were, were super good. I mean, that's not the case, right? It's just a matter of we mm. really found what we wanted to do right now. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh it got dark here. Every... All the lights go down when the TV starts in the bedroom. <laughs> oh, <laughs> of, co of course. <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Yeah, again, I think, like you're saying, so Juan is, says again, like plus one focusing on SMBs, agencies, freelancers, and not the enterprises today. Yeah, I think, I mean, if you look at like the develop, just the developer landscape in, in US, for example, I think it's like one third of them are freelancers. And I think more and more will actually become freelancers and start their own businesses versus working on big tech companies. I mean, I don't know, but I think, yeah, that's the case and and going after that market that basically has nothing kind of makes sense yeah i mean also one thing that we also get a lot of feedback on like oh then you're gonna have a lot of churn because you're going after the smaller ones they're gonna mm -hmm. change platform etc but we really believe that we can deliver so much value and in the end, you're going to earn money using our platform because you're going to save a lot of hours, right? That's the only thing that matters. Yeah. Either we're going to save you a lot of hours or we're going to save your accountant a lot of hours. And in the end, you're going to pay less money. Uh, mm. And I mean, running a small business, I mean, if you're a sole entrepreneur, you're doing basically everything by yourself. And if we can take off some hours from your shoulders, uh, and be assured that you have everything in one place. Uh, I mean, that's the end goal for us to really build something for you that's basically going to work for you in the end. Yeah. 
because <laughs> every month it's it's quite stressful. Uh, you need to collect all things. You need to be sure you have done everything right. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot of things except from actually like earning money as a consultant or like a freelancer, photographer, copywriter, engineer, what else, right? Yeah, exactly. Did you share the the traffic pointers? No, I, I'm at, okay. I don't know how I can share that. To be honest, uh, mm -hmm. I mean the link is public, but I know I don't know where I can post it. Um, maybe in yeah, I can share it in the chat on on the on the stream on on X. I can do that. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, but overall we got. 2,400 visitors on the website. And I think we're upwards of 120 new businesses that actually like signed in and stuff. So that's pretty nice. Um, yeah, so all in all, it's been super successful day. That's here. Okay, I'm sharing it in the chat. Our, our live stats here. Uh, yeah. Oh, where are stats here? Yeah, I don't know if that's correct or not, but it's there at least. So, Safir is asking, um, how did you build your audience on Twitter? How do you approach distribution moving forward? Um, yeah, yeah, again, I think we said it before, like we 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 posted, we've never been big on Twitter, any like New York Pontus and stuff like that. And uh, we just posted the first sketch I did um, on Twitter, October 21st. And then we just kept on posting. And like I was saying before, I think, I mean, Pontus kind of pushed me into posting more and more and kind of like uh, being more open with the design. And yeah, as you know, a lot of designers are really like introverts and want to keep things, you know, to themselves and stuff. So yeah, I think we, we started pushing ourselves just like posting every day and with that posting, we garnered a lot of like attention from different people and um, a lot of followers. Yeah, and also a lot of customers to meeting. Yeah, and we also, I mean, we posted for ourselves also from the beginning, right? We we wanted to document our progress because, uh, as you mentioned before, yeah. we we worked full time when we started midday for for several months, and it was good to just get motivated. I mean, for, from all the likes that we got all the time or the comments, that's the extra thing we needed to keep on going, basically. Um, so, I mean, my advice is just start start posting, start share, sharing your yeah. journey for, because someone will appreciate what you're doing and learn from you. And that's the only thing that's like building a community that's like you give and take, right? Yeah. And again, I think yeah, just like from being bootstrapped and not having money, you know, in the bank, I mean, that we're now reaching almost 4,000 businesses just by posting on Twitter. Um, yeah, we're just going to keep on doing that. That's, that's been the recipe for us. And like the people we're targeting, like the creatives and, and tech people there are on Twitter. So it's been kind of a perfect match. And um, yeah, I mean, we're not planning to spend, you know, a lot, a lot of money on, on marketing, but for sure we're going to hit some kind of like peak where we kind of need to push in some money. Uh, so we're definitely going to take some money from, from the money that we bring in from users and kind of push it back into marketing. But going forward now during the fall, we just, we want to keep on pushing on Twitter and being at transparent and, and yeah, and open as we can. Yeah. Yuan is uh, asking if you can screen share the open panel. I I have actually some sort. Of, I'm not super good in this OBS software which we use to 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 uh, to, to stream. <laughs> I, I'm not that confident in. Or maybe maybe I can I can try. 
One second. If you can okay. from Slack. No, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna try this. Yeah, I need to learn some. Sometime. And then one is asks if we're going out tonight to celebrate. Um, no, we're just gonna sleep really good. I think. <laughs> I think that's the plan. <laughs> um, yeah, if if me and Pontus were at the same place, we'd probably do that. So I'm located in in Malmo, so the south of Sweden. It's really close to Copenhagen. And Pontus is in Stockholm, so it's basically like six hours from here. Um, so actually working remote with each other. Um, so yeah, but hopefully Pontus, Pontus is planning to come down here in oh, some cool. weeks, and uh, then we're probably going to go out and celebrate, definitely. Remove one second. I'm really I'm pushing the limit here from what I what I know. Public view, yeah, maybe. I think I need to sign in, and that's gonna be problematic, right? Yeah, that's gonna be problematic. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> well, one, one more. <laughs> hey. Okay, okay, okay. One, two, three. Let's see. Yeah, there we have it. I'm gonna. Your face is gonna be. Uh, let's see. Okay, is it shared? I think it is in some time. Yeah, in some time. It's a little bit of a delay, I think. Mm. Maybe. Mm -mm, but I can't see it in Slack, so maybe not. In Slack. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, there you have it. There you have it. Oh, yeah, okay. It takes... Let's see. Yeah. It's actually... Oh, there, there it is. Cool. Mm -hmm. So this is actually open panel from uh, one of our friends, CJ, who's building it. It's open source also. Uh, we sit in the same office space from time to time. Uh, and yeah, we get a lot of great insights uh, from this tool. Uh, highly recommend it. And then regarding people that signed up today. Yeah. Do you know I where mean, we started? Do we know where we started at today? I think we changed now to 3,700. Uh, just some. I think we are up to basically 220 new customers. That's nice. Are we, that we gonna, good. We're going to post everything calculated tomorrow. Yeah. Five hundred and thirty-four human for four point zero four hundred and nineteen, and then super human human close after. Yeah, I'm just gonna answer the comment it's here. Still not hundred percent sure. Does it does the medic and financial components compete with uh, your we? Bank and accountant. Where? Uh, mm -hmm. It's really hot here today, or maybe it's maybe it's me. I, I don't know. Probably combination. <laughs> Brain is on fire. It's working. <laughs> For real. No, again, like both me and Pontus are super surprised how, how nice people have been. Like people we never talked to before are actually going in and writing comments and stuff. And it's just crazy. We couldn't have dreamed about a better day, to be honest. No. 
Uh, no, I mean it's surreal. And also everybody that wrote to us and said like, this is amazing, you, you're doing really good. I mean, all those kind of things we're gonna keep with us for forever. <laughs> yeah. What is the time in West Coast right now? West Coast. Like 12, something like that. Lunch break or? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay, maybe let's continue for 15 minutes more than I think it's time to sleep, actually. Yeah, exactly. Mahmoud asks if there are any updates on Midday Merge. So we're planning <laughs> yeah. to, we had the, we had the contest uh, last week and we're releasing that we were tomorrow. Suppo so we were really supposed to, to, yeah, we were supposed to actually it post it out on yesterday. But we yeah. have had a lot of coding things to fix, uh, so, yeah. so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do that tomorrow. Uh, and we yeah we're really looking forward to 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 pick winners. Uh, so yeah, that's going good. But also in the, in the end, of course, we're gonna we're gonna have merch uh, up for grabs uh, for like self self uh, price, like for what what it costs to actually make it, uh, so you can. Of course, support it, wear it, uh, and and buy it directly from from us. Um, that is a nice thing. Yeah. 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 Let's do fifty more minutes. Yeah. You, you. Both you and I look kind of tired. <laughs> I, see, I see it now <laughs> because the the video video lags a bit on on X. So I I, I see the video from time to time and I see like oh I, I look really tired. Uh, but yeah, it has been so much fun. And I think product product hunt really need a dark dark mode. <laughs> So you're noticing it now during the night. Like, <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What a day. Yeah, it's been crazy. Twitter is really struggling today, or X. Um, get a lot of errors. And me, thank you so much. So Febot says, good job, guys. Thank you so much. And then any vacation plans for the summer, guys? So I was actually working from Tuscany last week. So I had my vacation. Now it's done. Now it's just back to work. Um, but Pontus, you're planning to actually move to France, right? Yeah, me and my girlfriend is actually moving to south of France in, in uh, mid-August. Uh, so we're probably going to work. I'm going to slow down a bit, of course. Uh, 
but we we're gonna work until then and yeah Th then it's then it's gonna be a lot of wine drinking and just yeah have a nice time you're renting out your apartment during that time sorry you're renting out your apartment during that time yeah i'm planning to uh i'm planning to nice do you know about, know anybody <laughs> depends the price i guess no negotiable <laughs> no. <laughs> we are bootstrapped though that's true <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> Well, I'm really multitasking here, so if I'm a little bit weird, you know why. It's all good. My computer is really struggling. What kind of computer did you buy now? Bought the M3. MacBook Air, the 15 inch, because I, I I never worked on a laptop before. I'm always like stuck on the screen. I think that a lot of designers are just stuck by the big screens, and uh, yeah, so I've been stuck for a long time. Now I'm trying to like learn how to work on a on a laptop, but it's uh, it's uh, kind of hard. But it's really nice not to be you know sitting on a chair somewhere. You can actually sit in the sofa and work. Yeah. But yeah, MacBook Air M3. I think that's enough for a designer if you're not doing crazy yeah. rendering stuff. Wow, I was, um, what was the tool called now again? I lost it. What was the tool? Uh, spline. Oh, Spline, right? Spline. So I was doing, yeah. yeah, I was doing, I was testing out Spline a few weeks back when I did the blob on the website. And that, yeah, it's, uh, that requires some computing for sure. Yeah. You, yeah, then you're, you, you don't even have a fan, but it sounded like it. Say again, sorry, Pontus, in here. <laughs> no, you don't even have a fan in your computer, but it's, it, it kind of sounded like it anyway. <laughs> yeah. Actually. But sp Spline is really, really cool. I mean, you, you learn that tool in a matter of hours. I think yeah. that, that was really like, blow, I was blown away by that. I was really intuitive. And I, I like the fact that like, it's been so, cause I was working a little bit with like Cinema 4D when I was like 14 doing like, I was following this guy, Gray Scale Gorilla, that was big into 3D. I think he's still like one of the biggest like 3D artists. I was just like trying to copy him and, and uh, kind of learn from him. But I remember then like Cinema 4D is not an easy tool and yeah, Blender as well is also kind of complicated. So like seeing more and more tools like that, like Spline and stuff like popping up, uh, it's really powerful. And the nice thing yeah. is you, you can actually can actually incorporate it into code and stuff because that's always been a problem before. Yeah. Oh, I really. <laughs> hey. Really starting to feel the the hours. Five more minutes. We're done for today. Yeah. But I'm still. I'm still gonna. Like my brain is still. At the same time super like active um but yeah it's a it's a good feeling mm 
we still don't understand how long it so is it 24 hours they're counting because yeah. if anyone knows that would be nice just to tell us because we don't know if it's like so it started 9 a.m swedish time and if it's 24 hours then we need to be able to stick to number one until 9 a.m tomorrow yeah. uh, do, do, do. maybe we should keep uh, like watch you stay up for one hour and i sleep and then i wake up and then <laughs> no yeah no i mean we did what we did and we did like what we could do i don't think we need to no you know, no of course not it's already a yeah it's already a big win superhuman went past you 4.0 now yeah I zoned out. I zoned out a bit. <laughs> what did you say? You said that Superhuman went past uh, you. On oh, they did. Yeah, they're really on the on the on, yeah. the, on the rising now. They're climbing. And then oh, no. Juan is asked if there's any Euro 2024 predictions. I yeah. I mean, I think both me and Bond has been just heads down, so we haven't really followed Euro. Um, this year we don't really know kind of sucks that sweden isn't in it um but that's usually how it is sweden yeah they always like fumble it at the last second so but yeah yeah mm. Mm. Yeah, okay, so four minutes left. Uh, ask anything. Yeah, Mahmoud asks me if um, <laughs> if I end up getting the 13-inch or the 15-inch version of M3. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I did get the 15-inch. I cannot, like, 13 is just way too small. And I think, I don't know, I think for sure 16-inch would be really nice, but I think that the price difference between a 16-inch MacBook Pro versus MacBook Air is, is uh, way too much for me, so I went with a MacBook Air. I think it works fine. It's pretty neat. Yeah. yeah and then one it says, uh, thank you for the live streaming, guys. Must have been an exhausting day. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you so much for your support, man. Yeah, thank you. Uh, means a lot. Yeah. Been an awesome day, and it's thank to thanks to all of you guys. It's been, it's been yeah. really, really nice. Little dream come true. Yeah. Real. <laughs> Can I call it tonight, Pontus? Yeah. <laughs> yeah three more minutes then or do you want to do it now no three more minutes nice and <laughs> or what say you should we wrap up? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it yeah. again. Thank right. you so much, guys. It's been uh, yeah. it's been a long day, but a fantastic day. So thank you all so much for your support. It's been awesome. Yeah, thank you so much, and uh, talk soon. Bye bye. See you guys. <laughs>